Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So today I have a collective message. We're going to find out what spirit wants you to hear. Please remember this may not resonate for everyone. So let's get straight into this and find out what spirit wants you to know. Okay, whoever I'm picking up on today, I'm getting a very um, specific message. Um, I'm picturing four people, okay, and two of them, like, I'm getting, like, two people, and I just need one, 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 two people meeting another two people, okay, um, and I'm getting that, I don't know if these two people are coupled, both of them, but it feels that way, okay. Um, and I'm getting that you met somebody, okay, and they could have been in a relationship, okay, and you may have met them through somebody else, right? You may have also been in a relationship, okay, um, but I am getting this image, okay, of four people, okay, kind of meeting, right? So, like, two groups of people, two groups of two people meeting each other, and I just need 202, right? And I'm getting this energy where the person that you met, okay, through the other person, right? I'm getting that you really connected with them, okay? But I'm also getting that they could have been in a relationship and I'm getting that this is like a broken connection, right? It feels like a failed connection, okay? Um, but it does feel like that these two people are just staying together and I just need 242, okay? Um, but something doesn't feel right. Right? Now, again, it feels like, basically, it could have been like a trauma bond, right? So, like, this couple that you met, they have, like, a trauma bond, okay? Like, they're staying together. I'm hearing comfort zone. Right? So, the this couple is comfortable together, right? And they also don't want to get out of their comfort zone, okay? Now, the thing is, right, and I'm getting that you connected. There was an instant connection, right? I'm getting that, um... Okay, so it feels like... The person that you were with, whether that was a love interest or not, I'm not too sure on that one. I feel like for some of you it could have been like a love interest, okay, but for others I'm getting it with just a friend or something, right, that introduced you to a couple. And I'm getting that um, there was an instant connection, okay, with somebody, right, that you have not met before, right? And I'm also getting, I'm picturing right now, a cup and there's light coming out of the cup, right? I'm also getting that this was a very magnetic connection, okay? But also it really activated the heart chakra immediately, right? But I do see that there's a block. Like, I feel like... It feels like you feel like or they feel like this could never work, right, because of the situation. I'm hearing right person, wrong time. Right, so, again, instant connection, okay. 
in a very profound way as well. Like I'm getting that you both felt it. I'm hearing the energy move mountain. Like I'm getting that the energy was felt between you two, okay? And it wasn't just between you two. Like everyone in the room felt it, right? But again, with the hanged man and the four of swords, it feels like there's a block here. Like you feel like that you could never be with this person, okay? But I am getting that you are... It's interesting, it feels like you're both being guided to each other, you're both getting signed about each other. Even before you met, you may have seen this person around, okay? Um, maybe you dreamt about this person, right? This was somebody that, when you met them, it felt very familiar, right? Could be dealing with a Pisces, could strong Pisces, um, could be dealing with a Gemini. Okay, so... Then heavy communication issue here. Okay, and again... I am getting that this person, for one, they can't communicate because they seem to be in a relationship. And I just mean six, three, six. Um, this person, like they're in this like loveless relationship that has communication issues that they're not happy in, but they're comfortable in. But they also feel stuck and they feel like they really... Instead of this person following their intuition, and they are getting guided to you, like, I mean, the universe is really trying to pull you guys together, right? Um, you may run into this person a lot. Like, I mean, like, I'm getting, like, you could be at the shop, and you see this person, or you could go get a coffee, and you see this person, okay, because the universe in literally putting you two at the same place, right? Because they want, it's like, it's very, you're going to feel it. Like, you're going to notice that, wow, I'm seeing this person a lot, or I'm thinking about this person a lot, or they're popping up on my social media a lot, right? You may be seeing their name, okay, hearing their name, um, on the radio or something like that, on the TV. But, um, the same thing's happening to them. And I'm getting something about dreams, okay? Like, I'm getting that you both have very strong dreams about each other, okay? Like, and I mean that these are very vivid dreams, right? For some of you, you may share dreams, okay? And that is possible. Especially if you have a psychic connection with somebody or a telepathic connection with somebody. I mean, we're telepathic with everyone, right? Um, but sometimes we have a stronger telepathic connection to people, especially when we're very connected on a soul level, okay? So, for example, you're going to have a very strong telepathic connection with, say, your mum, okay? And you will notice that when your mum or your child, right, call you, before they call you, you're going to think of them, okay? Or you think of them and then they call you, they text you, right? That's all telepathy, okay? So when we have a strong bond with somebody, the telepathic bond is stronger, okay? And for some people, it does take practice, right? Like, if you... Say you don't experience this, um, you definitely can build that, right? And you definitely can practice um, and work on your psychic abilities, right? But then the strong telepathic connection between you two, like, you're thinking what they think, you feel how they feel um, about the connection, right? The dreams that you have, they have, okay? The signs that you get, they get, right? But yeah, in the 3D, it feels difficult. It feels like, 
and I just need 1001. If you'd like you, I'm hearing Nelson right now, let me know if that resonates. Um, if you'd like you both feel this very strong healing connection, but in the 3D it feels like you both feel like it cannot happen, right? As I said, um, right person, wrong time, okay, um, and there does seem to be circumstances in the way, right? It also feels like, I mean, at this current time, nothing can really go anywhere because the communication is completely off. Like, you may not even be in communication with this person, but you definitely feel this person on an energetic level, right? And this person here, they're refusing to leave the broken connection that they're in, right? Even though they're not happy, they're refusing to leave it because they're comfortable. And again, this person, there's this energy of them just being so miserable, okay? And I just think 11-11 when I said that. Because they feel on an intuitive level that they're not supposed to be in this situation that they're in. And they may have felt this before. Like, I'm getting that you met this person, but they already were feeling that they weren't supposed to be in the situation that they were in. But they kept entertaining it because they felt comfortable, yeah? There's something about this person and change. Okay, they are uncomfortable with um, change. You could be dealing with the earth sign, right? Heavy Taurus here. You could be dealing with the Pisces as well. Um, very uncomfortable with change, okay? Very obsessed with their comfort, right? So it feels like this person, they've been wanting to leave this situation for a long time, but they... It's like they've been putting it off because they, and I just think 12-21. They've been putting it off because they don't want to deal with it, to be honest, right? Like, they feel like if they do up and leave, they're going to have to deal with arguments. They're going to have to deal with explaining themselves. They're going to have to deal with actually building something new and creating something new, right? And I'm really just getting this person does not have the energy. They might have the energy, but they don't want to use it, right? They're in this situation where it feels like it failed. It feels like it's um, dead energy, right? I just think 13, 13. And they know that. Then also, um, in this connection, there's no communication in this connection that they're in, right? Like this couple that I'm picking up on. Like their communication, weird, okay? Like, I'm just getting that their communication, their relationship is just based on lies, right? It has a very... I can't explain this energy, it's just ick. That's what it's giving me. It's just like, no. You know what I mean? Like, what a, like, energy. Like, the energy is just dragging, okay? It's not pretty, right? But I am getting, like, there's no communication. There's the argument. There's lying, okay? Um, they're both disappointed with each other. There's also no... No sex life here, okay, even though they seem to be together in a committed relationship. Not a happy one, but a committed one, right? These people might not even sleep in the same bed, right? They may not even be intimate with each other. Like, I mean, I'm getting that it was built. Could have been a trauma bond, okay, but it feels, and I just named 1441. It was like built on sexual energy and now the sexual energy is gone and there's no communication and then all this disappointment, it failed, right? But it's like they're comfortable, so nobody wants to leave. 
and this person here is in love with you, right? But they feel like they can't be with you, so why not just stay in this comfortable situation, right? Even though they're clearly unhappy, they're ignoring their intuition. Okay, so what the issue in here is um, there's a lot of fear surrounding other people's opinion on this connection, right? So there's an obvious connection between two people and they met. There's something here, okay? So this could even be a situation where like you met this, and I just need 1551. Like, there may be conflict, right? Because, again, they're in a relationship, plus you met through somebody else. Um, it feels like it's very conflicting, okay? Very dramatic, to be honest. Um, but the thing is, uh, there's a fear of judgment, right? Like, oh, what, what will people think type of energy? Like, oh, you know, even though, you know, we're in love, like, what will people think, right? And, I mean, there's no communication because of that, because people, are, you both are scared, or at least this person over here is scared of what people are going to think, and that is literally... It's stopping them from experiencing this beautiful love. Okay? And again, they're in this shitty relationship over here that they're not happy in, okay? Wishing that they were with you, but then feeling like that it could never happen. Right? Like, it's too good to be true, okay? Like, in their mind, it's just a fantasy. You're dealing with somebody that's very practical. They feel like this is not practical. And again, what will people think? You know what I mean? Which again, this is um, very fear-based, right? Because this love here, it's unconditional, it's beautiful. And I mean, what's stopping it is... Um, for one, no communication, okay, this person, they're in this unhappy comfort zone, okay, they don't want to do anything, they also have no, like, no motivation, you seem to be a motive, like, a motivation for them, but they also feel like, but that's never going to happen, so what's the point? Person's lacking, um, ambition. Also terrified to take a risk. Um, so I do see that there's a conversation here that this person wants to have with you. But they're scared to have it. They're scared to talk to you. They feel like, oh. That they just feel like they cannot talk to you. You're off limits. <laughs> like they feel like they could talk to anyone, but you're off limits. They cannot talk to you, right? They're scared to take a risk here. They're scared to tell you how they truly feel and, um. They get to kind of, they feel like if they do that, it could backfire on them and they can mess things up. And then, again, this person and the comfort thing. Like, they're quite happy to just be unhappy, right? But they're not really happy and things seem to be going wrong, especially because they're ignoring their intuition here, right? And I'm getting this person's been doing this for a while and they're finally realising that they're not happy and they need to do something. So they want to speak to you, but they're really embarrassed. They feel like it's really risky. It's like this person, they feel like they want to do something and then they take a step back because they feel like, no, this can never happen, okay? For some of you, you may actually want to speak to this person. I mean, if this is something that you want, right? You may actually want to start a conversation with this person because this person here, they actually feel like it's, like, illegal to speak to you, like it's against the law or something, okay? Like, 
So that's all I have for you guys. If it resonated, let me know. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video.